So you can see the history of the mascot here is interesting. Let's just say, you know, starting with, um, you know, the actual duck puddles, the actual quack quack, real duck, live duck puddles, okay, which is pretty interesting. And then we could see the genesis to becoming Donald Duck, um, you know, and then eventually, you know, when students wanted to replace Donald Duck with Mallard Drake, they got real creative and went to a fucking Looney Tunes character. So, like, let's not make our own mascot. Uh, let's make a, 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 you know, a competing animation company's <laughs> character our mascot. It made, it made no sense, but, um, you know, we'll talk through some of these, some of these things, but the, the basic concept and the basic story, if we can sort of extrapolate upon it, is once you know, basically what happened was after uh, Walt Disney died, someone at the Walt Disney Company, you know, in their legal department, they started, you know, going after infringers. And one of those infringers was the University of Oregon. Um, and when they came at UO asking for, you know, royalties and threaten, threaten, threatening with lawsuits and all this stuff, um, a librarian dug out of the archives that image of Walt Disney with Leo Harris uh, with the varsity letter jacket with the, the duck on it and said, well, Walt knew what we were doing. Walt approved and there was no shady behind closed doors meeting. But however you want to, you want to, um, you know, think about it, you know, like they, they kind of worked out, an, a, a, you know, an agreement. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> which, you know, w whatever, you know, figured it out. Then uh, as the University of Oregon actually got like pretty good at sports, uh, other than track and field in the 70s, um, you know, then someone else at Disney reached out again and, you know, was like, say, you know, you're using, you know, our intellectual property, Donald the Duck, you know, or not Donald the Duck. Um, and, uh, you know, you don't have to stop, but you have to work out a licensing agreement. So they basically worked out this agreement where, and this is for the mascot, this is for the duck they were using on t-shirts, the cartoon image, all that stuff, where like basically they were real limited in how they could use, uh, use that image. They could only sell it on headwear and apparel in Oregon. If you actually look at that image, and I'll show, I'll show you, if you look at that image, it will say copyright uh, Disney company. So when you see, see it on a shirt or anything, that's the one thing that if you want to um, put on a t-shirt or a notebook or something, if you're looking to license that, you actually license that image since it's copyrighted through the Walt Disney Company. We don't actually own it. So, um, yeah, so they restricted the use to, you know, you can only get it in Oregon and on gear and headwear in Oregon. And also our mascot, right, the duck, couldn't appear on film and television couldn't do birthday parties, couldn't do basically anything. It was real restricted because they, you know, the university was afraid of being sued by Disney because of this licensing agreement that they had worked out. Okay, so, um, you know, we tried. We tried later to come up with something new with our other, the other company that we lay in bed with, which is Nike. So we're bed laying with uh, two large multinational companies. Okay. Um, and uh, eventually came out with Robo Duck, which is crazy. Uh, Robo Duck was incredibly crazy. I'm looking at an image of Robo Duck right now, and I'm like, <laughs> oh man! But you know, it happened, and uh, it didn't go well. You know, went back to the duck, and that was an attempt to kind of get away from um, the control that Walt Disney Company had over us. And it didn't go well because no one, that Roboduck didn't resonate with people. Okay, you saw that the students tried to do Mallard Drake instead and they lost. Just some images that you can see um, where we're, we're looking at, you know, the students' campaign to get a new mascot and all that stuff. Um, uh, we got some images of Afroduck, which came out in like the late 70s. And you can actually still see these. Um, I think at uh, Tracktown Pizza, they have some of them kind of hanging up there. So students started to get a little creative with it. But um, yeah, you can see the image here of, of uh, the duck. That's Donald, um, and it's a copyright of the University of Oregon. And then you can see our stylized O, which was drawn by Tinker Hatfield of Nike, um, which represents an overhead view of Hayward Field. 
and of Autzen Stadium, which Autzen is uh, the outside and Hayward Field is the, the track is on the inside. Um, but yeah, this, this image of Leo Harris was the athletic director and Walt Disney became this very important um, document, you know, to kind of give us a little bit of leeway to continue using the duck. So, you know, this brings us to this. So we'll just play a little bit of this. This came out in 2011 by three students at the University of Oregon. Let's, let's just watch a little bit of it, okay? I can't stand this shit. Um, I don't want to get it stuck in my head. It annoyed me when it came out. And so we'll listen just to, just to a little bit of it. I love my ducks. I love my Okay, so yeah, I Love My Ducks by Sup With You Girl. This is three students here at the University of Oregon. You know, Oregon had a really great run of going to the Rose Bowl, uh, competing for a natty, all that stuff in the early 2010s. And, um, you know, these three students just love their ducks. They were really big fans. They were, you know, students here. And they made this, this song. The song actually, um, you know, borrows the rhythm from... Uh, Jay Kwan's Tipsy and a, uh, a melody uh, from a popular kind of uh, 80s ska punk song. Um, I get knocked down, but I get up again, you know, whatever. I can't remember who did that, but whatever. It has a vibe of that to it. But what happened was this. This came out, I believe it was kind of like a project they did or something for fun that they did. And the University of Oregon shut them down. Shut them down. And it's not because, and it was because of the appearance of the duck mascot in the video. They probably had a friend who was one of the mascots. They got them to be in the video. And like, it instantly rang the bell of, oh shit, what is Walt Disney Company going to do to us? And so the University of Oregon phew, shut it down. They had uh, thought about threatening the students with theft of state property which is crazy. Um, and then they thought second about that because like mm, maybe not a good look to like do that to your students um, and, and decided not, not to do that. And uh, you know, it was pretty interesting because what happened is when the university like shut it down and was like, you know, this can't be out there. We don't want, uh, we don't want Disney to find out. The, the, the thing went viral, it got back on, online and it just blew up. It was like at the perfect time. It was like no, like November ish, and you know we had a big game against uh, USC, and you know coming up like a few weeks, and you know just just it was just a bit a big time, and, and and it went crazy viral that that fall, and you had all these other local crappy rappers trying to make like crappy pro duck songs that was like one of the worst fallouts of all this but you know these 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 kids weren't really like musicians they just literally put this together and it went viral and um i mean they were performing around town they were on tv radio i think even like got some love on espn but the biggest thing that came came out of this was they worked out a deal with um with the bookstore to make shirts that said i love my ducks because the song was like a a big hit around here. I mean, people lo loved it because the ducks were, were balling and it made them feel good or whatever, you know. Yo, these lads sold thousands and thousands of these shirts. They got $2 for each one sold. There was that game I was telling you about, about against USC where they, where they I, I believe, like they sold like tens of thousands of them. Like, you know, just everybody was buying them. I mean, you probably see them now if you go to a thrift store. Uh, around Eugene, you don't see them so much uh, anymore. But I mean, they they did all right. They made some dough uh, off of that. You know, at two bucks a piece, they got off of that. So they they did all right. Um, they tried to register for a trademark on "I Love My Ducks," and uh, they got <laughs> shut down. And the reason why is this: you can't say ducks in Eugene and not be exploiting or referencing the University of Oregon, right? Like 
any, like you think of like uh, Hungry Ducks, right? Which was like a takeout service, like that's gone, right? I think they, they had a buyout or something changed, their, they had to change their name because that would associate that the University of Oregon is somehow involved in, in that, in that business, you know? Um, and that's part of what the university and any trademark holder has to do. So uh, I took my wife's car to go get it detailed. And when I brought it to the place, I was there early before they opened up and there's a big roll up door. And on the roll up door, you could see it was red. And you could see that they hadn't quite done a great job of painting over a big O that someone had painted on, on the uh, roll up door. Probably just as big fans as the Ducks, but from the perspective of the university is you're associating your business with the university and the qualities of the university. You're exploiting the University of Oregon's trademark to get people to come in and get their cars detailed at your spot. So they shut it down. Like, so they shut that down anywhere. Um, so it's just, it's just pretty, it's just pretty interesting. You know, here you can't use that. You probably can't use a lot of the colors or you can't use the font type, like we own the font type you see on football jerseys and other jerseys. It's called Bilotti Bold. We have a trademark on that because you see it and you think of the University of Oregon. Um, as I mentioned, you know, Tinker Hatfield's done crazy designs. He's done, you know, a lot of the new duck football jerseys, basketball sneakers, uh, Matt Court, you know, all, all these things. But one of the interesting things that, that, that I saw and I thought was just so, so interesting was um, after, you know, what happened was this, is this whole thing goes viral. I love my ducks, big deal, whatever. And it becomes kind of a little bit of a news story. And the re you know, like I said, the reason why the University of Oregon was like crazy freaking out was because they were afraid of Disney. Well, someone called from Disney's legal team. They called uh, the university. And I believe that the person there who, who, who was working there was also a duck alum. And they said, hey, listen, the duck isn't Donald. The mascot duck, the physical mascot duck is not Donald. We're giving that up. They had held on to that for you know, 20, 30 years. And basically that freed the duck. So it freed the university of like this onus and fear. So then the duck could appear on TV commercials or the duck could appear on, um, you know, the mascot, the Capital One mascot challenge or ESPN, you know, commercials or could you could, you know, pay to have the duck to come to your birthday party or whatever. Things that could never, you know, couldn't use them for commercial commercial purposes before. Um, but the interesting thing is right after this, this agreement, so this is all in the same time as I Love My Ducks, was um, a few weeks after that was Halloween. OK, and guess who the duck uh, dressed up as as Halloween that year, uh, Captain America, which is owned by Marvel, and Marvel's owned by Disney. So a little bit of a coincidence, and, and that movie was coming out, I believe, in like the, the weeks after that. So, uh, you know, again, when I talk about the beds where we lay, you know what I'm saying, with these large companies, it's very, it's very interesting. Now, I'm sure you have that at other universities, but it's, it's, it's interesting here, let's just, let's just say the least about that.